stuck like eating, I would have to eat one of those establishments. And I just said to myself, is that all that is? in Scotland, I was at my mum's house, we were having our tea, that means dinner, and the news was on, the BBC television news, and there was a story about a court case concerning an incident that occurred during the uh, Olympic Games in London, and what had happened was, uh, right before the 100 metres men's sprint, the race that ultimately uh, Usain Bolt won, right before that, this crazy man stormed the track and uh, started saying awful things about Usain Bolt. He thought he'd called him a cheat, he called him his other names, threw a bottle at him, it was awful. But luckily, there was a Dutch female judo-playing Olympian nearby, and she tackled this crazy man to the ground. Let's just take a moment to thank the lesbians for everything. <laughs> so as this man was being taken away by the police, he was like, you can't arrest me! Actor Alan Cumming. Oh. And he thought that would make the situation better. <laughs> and I told one of my friends about this, and he said, Gosh, you know, you're really famous now, Alan, when crazy people pretend to be you. <laughs> and I just thought to myself, Is that all there is? <laughs> is that all there is? But when I do die, I hope I die in the manner of the Russian playwright Anton Chekhov. Because when he was about to die, he was in a sanitarium in Switzerland. He felt the moment coming. He said, could I have a glass of champagne, please? They brought him a glass of champagne. He downed it in one, and he dropped down dead. That's how you fucking die. <laughs>